the Zeus laser, which will be operating at three petawatts. It will be the highest power laser in the US. You are about to witness something truly extraordinary, a moment that sounds more like science fiction than science. For just 25 quintillionths of a second, a laser in Michigan unleashed a pulse of light so intense that it outpowered the entire electrical grid of the planet. The number is almost absurd. Two petawatts of power. That's a two followed by 15 zeros. In that blink of existence, this laser didn't just break records. It redefined what light can do. It's called ZEUS, short for Zettawatt Equivalent Ultra Short Pulse Laser System. And behind this name lies one of the most ambitious scientific instruments ever built. A machine that promises to let humans recreate the power of black holes, gamma ray bursts, and supernovae inside a lab. It's the most powerful laser ever fired in the United States, and one of the most powerful on Earth. Energy scientists around the world are stunned by its achievement. And yet, this is only the beginning. Because the full story of Zeus isn't just about breaking known limits. It's about asking the biggest question in modern physics. What if we could recreate the most extreme forces of the universe right here on Earth? But before we dive deep into the science behind Zeus, let's understand what kind of engineering, physics, and sheer human ambition it takes to fire a beam that outshines the power of the world. In a quiet facility at the University of Michigan, a team of scientists spent years designing what would become one of America's greatest scientific instruments. They called it Zeus. A name chosen carefully after the Greek god of thunder and lightning, a fitting title for a system designed to wield the most intense bursts of light ever created. The idea was born from a global scientific goal, to explore the frontier between light and matter, where classical physics gives way to quantum chaos. Around the world, similar mega lasers are being built, from Europe's extreme light infrastructure to Japan's Saclex ray laser. But Zeus stands out for one key reason. It bridges two worlds, the quest for understanding the universe's most violent phenomena and the dream of practical, accessible, high-energy physics on Earth. To understand how incredible this is, let's talk about power. Two petawatts, that's two million billion watts. At any given second, the entire human civilization uses roughly 20 terawatts of power. That means, for a fleeting instant, Zeus was generating over 100 times the total electrical output of every power plant, every city, and every nation combined. But there's a twist. This power didn't last for a second. It lasted for just 25 femtoseconds, or 25 millionths of a billionth of a second. That's shorter than the time it takes light to travel the width of a human hair. So how can a lab at the University of Michigan produce that much power without melting the Earth? Because power here doesn't mean continuous electricity, it's about energy density in time. Zeus compresses a small amount of energy, around one joule, into a vanishingly short burst, creating a momentary flash of unimaginable intensity. In those moments, the laser can strip atoms apart, tear electrons from nuclei, and even distort the vacuum of space itself, a phenomenon that only occurs in the vicinity of black holes or neutron stars. That's not science fiction. It's the new frontier of experimental physics. So how Zeus works? The heart of Zeus looks nothing like a science fiction laser cannon. It's a network of optical amplifiers, mirrors, and vacuum chambers stretching across a lab filled with cool blue light and the hum of precise cooling systems. When the laser fires, it doesn't look dangerous, just a flash, a pulse, and silence. But what happens inside that pulse is extraordinary. Zeus begins by generating an ultra-short light pulse, just a few femtoseconds long. That pulse is then sent through a series of amplifiers, specialized crystals that boost its energy without losing coherence. Each stage multiplies its power by orders of magnitude until it reaches the petawatt range. Then, it's focused onto a tiny target, often helium gas. The light's intensity is so high that it rips the electrons away from helium atoms, 
turning the gas into plasma, a sea of free electrons and ions. And then something magical happens, wakefield acceleration. As the laser pulse moves through the plasma, it creates a wake, like a boat moving through water. Electrons caught in that wake get pulled forward, surfing on waves of energy and reach speeds near the speed of light. In just a few millimeters, Zeus can accelerate particles to energies that traditional accelerators would need kilometers to achieve. This is why physicists call Zeus a tabletop particle accelerator, a glimpse of what the next generation of compact, efficient accelerators might look like. Why build something like this? Because the universe is full of mysteries that happen at energy levels far beyond what we can recreate until now. When a star collapses into a black hole, when a pulsar sends out jets of plasma at near light speed, or when a gamma ray burst flashes across the cosmos, those are events defined by extreme light and matter interactions. And Zeus allows scientists to replicate tiny versions of those phenomena right here on Earth. By studying how particles behave under such intense fields, researchers can test theories of quantum electrodynamics, probe the structure of the vacuum, and simulate cosmic radiation that would otherwise be impossible to study directly. In other words, Zeus is a window into the deep physics of the universe, the same kind of energy that shaped galaxies and stars. But the Zeus project doesn't stop at two petawattses. Its signature experiment, planned for its next phase, aims to collide the laser-driven electron beam with a second intense laser pulse. When these two collide, they will create conditions equivalent to a zettawatt-scale event, a trillion times more powerful than a nuclear explosion. This is the closest we've ever come to simulating the raw conditions of cosmic-scale events. In these collisions, scientists expect to see something extraordinary, the creation of matter from light itself, a process predicted by Einstein's equations but never observed directly in this way. In essence, Zeus will allow us to turn pure light into matter, recreating one of the most fundamental transformations in the universe. That's not just physics. That's innovation. But Zeus isn't only about exploring the cosmos. It also has the potential to reshape our world. The same wakefield acceleration that powers Zeus's experiments could lead to compact particle accelerators small enough to fit inside hospitals, revolutionizing cancer treatment through laser-driven proton therapy. Today's particle accelerators are massive, kilometers long, and astronomically expensive. But with systems like Zeus, researchers can accelerate particles in a chamber just a few centimeters wide. That could make advanced radiation therapy cheaper, faster, and available to far more people. Beyond medicine, Zeus's technology can be used for high-resolution imaging, material science, and plasma-based propulsion systems for future spacecraft. In a sense, Zeus is a Swiss army knife of extreme light, a tool that can reveal the universe's secrets and improve lives on Earth. Building a two petawatt laser isn't just physics, it's engineering mastery. Every component must be precise to the nanometer. The mirrors must not warp. The optical paths must stay stable despite vibrations smaller than the width of a human hair. The energy inside the laser could vaporize materials if not perfectly aligned. So, Zeus uses advanced vacuum systems, adaptive optics, and cryogenic cooling to maintain absolute stability. Then there's timing. The synchronization between components has to be accurate down to femtoseconds. That's a quadrillionth of a second. If even a single pulse drifts out of alignment, the experiment fails. It's a masterpiece of precision, a cathedral of light built by engineers who think in trillionths of seconds. Now you may wonder, what comes next? Zeus is just one part of a global race to master extreme light physics. In Europe, the ELI project aims to reach even higher powers. In China, new facilities are pushing toward exawatt-class lasers. And one day soon, we may reach the zettawatt frontier, a point where light itself becomes so intense that space and time start to warp. 
the next generation of Zeus experiments could test theories of quantum gravity, explore the limits of the standard model, and maybe even uncover new physics altogether. We are entering a new era, not of risky fire or known electricity, but of pure light as a tool of discovery. For most of human history, light was just something we saw. Now, it's something we can shape, control, and unleash to explore the most powerful forces in the cosmos. The Zeus laser isn't a weapon, it's a window, a reminder that the universe's most mysterious energies can be recreated, understood, and used for good. So, as scientists continue to push the boundaries of what light can do, we have to ask, could light itself be the ultimate power source of the future? Could lasers like Zeus unlock new ways to heal, to travel, or even to generate energy? The answers lie ahead, at the intersection of energy and imagination, where humanity's curiosity meets the most powerful light ever created. If you enjoyed exploring this scientific marvel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned, because the age of extreme light has just begun.